Okay guys, welcome back. So what have we done so far? We integrated Aweber with lead pages. We created a thank you page in lead pages. We created a sign up form in Aweber and we created a list in Aweber. So what next? The final step. We're going to create a lead pages opt-in form with an Aweber integration. So let's head on over to lead pages now and get that going. All right guys, here we are in lead pages. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to click on templates and then from here we're going to go to this gray bar and we're going to click on opt-ins because we're trying to get people to opt into our list. And as you can see, there's a whole bunch of choices. Um, lead pages always has a bunch of choices under all the categories. They have a great selection and they all convert very well. Um, we're going to choose this uh, new basic squeeze page because right now it's about 10 degrees here in Boston and uh, the beach looks really good right now. So let's go with this one. And I always opt into this to help lead pages check their results and their conversions. So yes, count me in. Okay, and here's the squeeze page. Um, everything on this page is editable. You can change your logo up here just by clicking on it. And then you can change the text here, you know, tell people about your offer and what you want them to do. Put your call for action here. Um, and you can put your privacy statement and the I hate spam statement. You can edit all that stuff. You can also go over here and edit the stuff and the content, excuse me. You can hide things. If you want to hide the background, for instance, you can click this eye and the background's gone. But then you just click the eye again and it's back. So, um, and you can do that with, with everything on the, you can do that with the logo. You can do that with everything on the, on the form. So, but the only thing we're really going to play around with here is the opt-in form. Um, we're going to edit that. So I click on that. And remember back when we made the um, Aweber form, we said the only thing we're going to require is the email address. So we're going to knock those that out and we're going to get rid of phone number. Because the less you ask people to give you, the more likely, likely you are to get something from them. Now also, um, you can see over here, this pink message um, that we have to reload our integration with um, <clears throat> Aweber. So we're going to click Aweber here and we're going to click uh, my web form too. And um, we're going to click customize. And then we're going to click OK. So now we're back in good graces with um, Aweber. And then we're going to save this again. And we're going to give it a name. We're going to call it a really big list. And we're going to click done. And then we're going to click save again. And we're going to click publish. So now we're essentially done. And what happens here is you get a URL that you're going to copy and put that in a notebook somewhere. And, and then when you need it, when you're going to actually publish the squeeze page, an opt-in page, whether it be in Facebook or Twitter or wherever you're going to put it, this is the URL that'll take people to your squeeze page and then onto your list. So that's it for building a squeeze page in lead pages. Hey guys, so this was the last of five related videos. The other four are integrating Aweber with lead pages, creating a thank you page in lead pages, creating a sign-up form in Aweber, and creating a list in Aweber. All of these videos can be found on my YouTube channel, www.youtube.com forward slash user forward slash TomMcNulty.net. Just spell that out just like that. And uh, I hope you'd go on there. And if you haven't watched any of the previous videos, you can go on there anytime and watch those to get caught up to this one. Okay. Um, also, if you have any questions at all, like I said before, go to my blog, TomMcNulty.net, comment, I'll answer any questions you have. As many questions as you have, I'll get back to you as soon as I can. I'm pretty good, usually within a couple hours, um, max, I'll be getting back to you. Um, if you're more comfortable on Facebook, I'm at www.facebook.com forward slash TomMcNulty.net. Send me a friend request, I'll accept it, and then we can, you can ask me questions, we can talk. Um, any amount of time, any amount of questions you need, I'll answer them for you. So thanks again. I hope this was helpful. And um, Tom out.